Hey, old heathen, Squishifer here. Um, I thought we'd try something new, since the whole uh, Hand of the Gods thing didn't... kind of went over like a lead fart, but that's okay. Um, I've never played an open world game before on the channel. Uh, I don't know how it'll go, but I love this fucking game, and I love the fact that you can put your own custom music into the game so I don't have to worry about copyright strikes, which, <laughs> if you know anything about me, I've had trouble with that in the past. So, I thought we'd give this a shot, um, see how it goes, see what you guys think. But let's go ahead and give this a shot. Alright. And I love this game because it's like a, a, a sea pirate, you know, a pirate game, but in space. I fucking love it. It has broadsides and everything. Six days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black chief, who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. Now that's the only non-custom music you're going to hear in this game. Alright, this is the Rasputin. I think it looks really fucking cool looking, actually. Ah, oh, there you are. Your aunt asked me to keep an eye out for you. I see you found her old ship. Bring it into the dock and meet me at the bar. I have something for you. Uh, you know my aunt? Yes, indeed. We've been through a few scrapes together back in our younger, wilder days. I'm Orzu. I now I tend bar here and life is much quieter. I see you. Well, I guess to see you after I dock. Yep, see you soon. Okay, I know how to play. Okay, now what I meant about broadsides, I'll show you guys real quick. Um, the main form of combat is actually... Um, do you see those three cargo-shaped things on the right side? They're actually broadside cannons. See? <laughs> And you can actually um, charge them up so they'll actually shoot in a straight line. Oh, no. Well, that traitor sounded like he was in trouble. <laughs> oh well. Alright. So let's go in here and talk to Urzu. Because why the fuck not? The Rasputin has two turret mounts, but only one turret installed at present. It's a good idea to visit the equipment bay, enter the weapons section, and purchase a new scatter turret to install into your beta turret mount. Okay. Uh, beta turret. Mark 1 scatter turret. Well, yes, I will install this. Alright. We have 250 credits to our name. Meet Orzu. Aha! My, you're the spitting image of Juno. So good to see you. So, where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. To be honest, I don't know. I haven't seen her in nearly a week. She was afraid she wouldn't make it back before you arrived. Why do you say that? Because she gave me something to give to you on her behalf. Well, why would she have done so if she was expecting to be present? Good point. What is it? Maybe I'll tell her. Maybe it'll tell me how to find her. That may be. She called it a specter, although I doubt that it, that it that's its proper name. Juno mentioned that it's some kind of AI symbiote, whatever that means. Can I see it? Okay, 
Zazabon. Here you go. As to your aunt, frankly, you're in no shape to find her. That's the Rasputin parked in the hangar, isn't it? I hate to say it, but times have changed since that was a worthy ship. What do you mean? Popgun. Popgun. <laughs> well, you've got no deflector, no tractor beams, that hull plating is like paper, and to be frank, your weapon systems are practically pop guns. No offense. Um, any suggestions? I can get you an upgrade or two. Juno would never forgive me if I sent you off to your inevitable doom. I can't afford to let it go for nothing, though. I've got a little something you could help me with in exchange. Kind of something. I've got a shipment of Griot whiskey coming in. My supplier, however, seems to have gotten himself into hot water and can't come near the station. I'll give you the payment, and if you can make the exchange, I'll have something for you in your return. It's a deal. Excellent. Here's 500 credits for the payoff and the coordinates where you'll meet. His name is Branson Cole, and he should be waiting for you. Bring the whiskey back, we'll get you squared away, and I'll have some more information as well. I'm on it. Alright, so we gotta meet, go meet Branson Cole. Yes, I know. Alright. I gotta go around the planet, so... Oh, shit, I don't want to dock. There we go. There's my warp engine. Yeah! And this game is so fucking pretty. I mean, come on. I never thought I'd be able to run a space game on this potato computer of mine so well. Alright. Pulse scanning. Use your pulse function to detect distant objects and resources and to be notified of bounties and scan range. Okay, so I go like this. Oh, I gotta... There we go. Pulse. Incoming hail. Hey there. Or as you send you, you got my yeah, he did. Here's the cash. Doing you too. Alright, let's get out of here. Good to see you you too, buddy. Come on. And if you and I'm sure you'll notice I'm using an Xbox controller because this game does not play well with a mouse and keyboard. It really, really doesn't. I mean, come on, look at that star. It's fucking gorgeous. When I first got it, I tried playing it with a mouse and keyboard, and it was just a no-go. So I grabbed my uh, controller out of the box I had it stored in, and luckily it still works, so. Alright, well, we got ten grand for that, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's visit the bar, talk to Orzu. Excellent, many thanks for your help. I've got two options for you here, a deflector and a tractor beam. Deflectors are an excellent defense in combat. And of course, you'll need a tractor to bring objects into the Rasputin's hold. Okay, I know for a fact I can buy the other one with the money I've got, so I'll take the tractor beam and then I'll buy the deflector. A fine choice, I'll have my men transfer to the Rasputin right away. So, about my aunt? Yes, of course, but I was hoping I might trouble you for a quick favor given how deftly you handled the exchange. Well, tell me about it, I suppose. It's a simple matter. I have some items at a remote storage location, and given their contents, it'd be best if they weren't discovered by any uh, interested parties. I need them disposed of at no real risk to you. Eh, I can do that. 
Perfect. Here's the relevant information. Destroy your containers however you see fit. I'm sure it won't take a moment. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so real quick though, I'm going to go ahead and go grab a deflector. There we go. And we still have six grand, so might as well see if I can afford... Ooh, all I can afford are flat cannons, really? Ooh. Yeah, flat cannons are useless in my opinion. Do I have anything to sell? I do not. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go take care of this situation. Engines at maximum. Collision warning. Oh, good. You guys are going to get a good view of that star. The stars in the middle of every sector are literally my favorite part of this game. Are you serious? It was all the way over there. Come on. Thank you. I mean, come on, look at that. Isn't that about the damn coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> mm, I love the graphics in this game. Okay. Just jump in here. Let's pulse real quick, see what we got going on. Looks like there's three containers to destroy. Let's get it on. Yes, I know how to use broadside combat. Thank you. Okay. One. Ooh! Ow! There's two. And... That would be three. Oh, nope. Didn't destroy. Come on. Ow. There we go. Uh-oh. Enemy toilet. Enemy toilet. Not the enemy toilet. Alright. Uh, it's just a retaliator. Mario. Alright. Oh, here's the deflector. See, it blocks all damage for a short time. Come on. You need to die. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, fuckers. Fucking hurts. There you. Uh -uh. Ooh, that was a, almost a good shot. Come on. Fighters are so hard to hit with your broadside sometimes. Like holy shit. There we go. Woo. God damn, that's a lot of holes. Why you gotta be like that? God damn it. I didn't turn fast enough because I got too interested in the holes in the side of my ship. Okay, back to Orzu. I think we're going to go and end this first episode after we get back to the station. Maybe see if we can get some uh, upgrades. Maybe some uh, missiles would be great. I don't think we can afford them yet, though. Depends on how much money we get for this mission. And I would like to hire a mercenary before we get too into something we can't handle. All right. So, let's see. Visit the bar. 
Oh, we only have ten grand. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to afford a missile system yet. Not even dumb fire. Ah, oh, you're so reliable. I can see Juno's influence. Thank you again for your help. Okay, favor's done. Now it's time for you to hold a bureau. No, no. Yes, yes, of course. Well, if you want to track Juno down, I think your most likely bet is to speak with Sandar. He, er, her, um, partner. Partner? Well, how much do you know about your aunt's, uh, activities? I know she was a hell of a trader and made a lot of money out here on the frontier. That's one way to look at it. Most folks would call it smuggling, though. And Sandar moved the goods for her. You should try and get in touch with him. He's at some scabby station at the edge of the system. I'll mark it on your chart. Thanks, I'll check it out. Alright, so let's go ahead and hire a mercenary here. Name's, Name's Garrus. I hear you looking for someone who can fly. Very yes, crazy. I am. I might be, but aren't you a little old to be a mercenary? That's the look of experience, kid. Anybody who lives this long knows. Uh, hey, fair enough, fair enough. Just asking. Uh, what sort of ship do you fly? I got one of those military-grade Durham gunships. She's fast and she's mean. And she Good to know. Travel. So he's rocking a gunship. Not a capital ship like the Rasputin. Alright, fine. You're hired. Good to be working with you, kid. You Let's bet. Slow this joint. Okay, now let's see if... Oh, we need repairs. 58 credits. I don't know if I can afford that. Alright. Um, let's see if we can afford anything here. I guess I could... Oh, we can get a dumb fire launcher. Ugh. Those things are so hard to shoot. Now I'll just hold up and wait until I can get the heat-seeking ones. Um, I would like to get... Particle lasers, but we don't have the money for them yet. We can't afford a mining laser, though. Yeah, I'm gonna get a mining laser. Cause I personally, I don't like the scatter turrets like at all. I I mostly, whenever I play this game, I'm mostly a laser-based defense system. Maybe with a couple missile turrets, stuff like that. Okay, well that'll do for now. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave this here. We'll uh, pick up right here where we left off in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really like this game. I think it has a lot of potential. Um, hopefully it'll make a good series. I don't know if it's going to translate into a good series. I, like I said, I've never done an open world game like this before. But let me know what you think in the comments. And of course, like, share, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And if you didn't, make sure to punch, slap, and kick that dislike button in the face. And as always, I'll see you next time. Skull, heathens.